what it do what it do today we're gonna be giving you a quick review i'm gonna be giving you a quick review on the ford bronco big ben sasquatch edition bam as you can see that's him right there he looking real goody woody goody good let's talk about it because as you know i'm a jeep owner so this is gonna be the first time i've ever even reviewed or been in a bronco period so first off i do like the front grille on this bronco i, I do like the front grille i like how it says bronco on the front i like all of this but it's kind of i don't know if this it feel like it's yeah that's plastic that's plastic i ain't really a fan of the plastic all this plastic I don't know how that's going to have what kind of how to if you take this off-roading I don't know how how to how the wear and tear is going to be on that but it does look good though I'm not going to sit here and act like it's look good and most times you're not even going to take this thing off-roading so you wouldn't even have to worry about that because nine times out of ten you're not going to take a fifty two thousand uh, dollars vehicle off-roading maybe when it gets maybe when you have it like seven eight years so I do like that I definitely like the lights the lights on this bad boy something special these are some of the nicest lights I've ever seen on a V on a uh, SUV. I would consider this an SUV. I know some of y'all like, no, nah, it's an off-road vehicle. No, it's gonna be an SUV. Nine times out of ten, this is an SUV, and nine times out of ten, you're never gonna see this thing off-roading. Most people that buy these are gonna buy these to be moving around in the city. It's like a city vehicle. It's gonna be a city vehicle. You know, it will look cool in the city with your off-roading vehicle. I do like the bottom bumper on it. The bottom bumper is real cool, but it's nothing really fancy about it. As you can see, this little but this Bronco right here, it's got a uh, aftermarket bumper on it, which I like this. I like that, but I like the stock bumper better. This stock bumper better is better than that aftermarket bumper to me. What I don't like about the aftermarket bumper on that one, not to get off subject, is that big old rhino horn type of thing. I don't really like that. But yeah, this is a nice front bumper. I will change it out eventually. Probably get me an aftermarket front bumper because, as you know. I got a modded Jeep, so I like to modify my stuff, but it, it's nothing wrong with this front bumper. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't say it's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just would change it out myself. My me being me. I do like the hood of this. I like I like the hood on the Broncos, but they're kind of plain. It's kind of plain. I kind of wish they would have did a little more right here. Like maybe open that up a little bit. Even if it was a fake vent, I kind of wish they would have did a little more. Even if it was fake, it still would look a lot more cooler. Cause it looks real plain on the hood. You know, it looked real, real plain. It doesn't have no really like it's not it's not really popping. But that's for me. This is my opinion, you know. It could it could be something cooler for you. You may think that's cool. I do like these right here. I don't know what they are. Maybe it's like the whole, maybe this is like if you're gonna hang it up, they call them what they call them, max load. So yeah, it's probably like a uh where you would hang it up if you had took it off the hood in the garage or something like that you might want to hang the hood up or something who knows i don't know but it looks real good the front of it looks real good i like the little fog lights in the front i like those it was really nice let's work our way to the side i'm definitely feeling it i feel it i like these i wish they was colored though you probably got paid you gotta pay a little extra money to color match the fender flares i like them but you probably got to pay a little extra money to get to the color match they want to be but it still look good to make it if i like a little hip itch on my vehicles you know i like the hips on it so i'm definitely feeling the hips on it and we work our way to the tires and the wheel the wheel and tire combo is going to be on a 355 a 315 tire sorry about that 315 tire 70 side wall on a 17 inch it's going to be a 17 inch wheel bead lock wheel really 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 nice i don't know if these are real bead locks maybe is it real or fake i don't know i'm gonna say it's real i'm hopefully it's real but it's real nice i definitely like i like the whole real uh, wheel setup I, I definitely like the whole wheel setup it's really sharp i think it's real nice i'm feeling the wheels i think they real i think they, they they better than most jeep wheels most jeep wheels don't look like this these wheels are really really nice although if you get a 392 jeep though those wheels are really nice on those too but these wheels are really really nice the black especially with the little brushed little chrome look on the outside bead lock look i definitely like that i think that's real nice it's gonna be on a big old big boy goodyear tire uh territory mt mud tire looks real good as you can see it's a big ben sasquatch edition got your nice little running boards these are going to be aftermarket running boards but you probably get your own kind of running boards if you don't like these but these are pretty sharp too i think they're pretty sharp you know nice little uh the side is kind of plain it's not really popping on it but what makes the side look good is those hips those fender flares really pop this really pops it off you're gonna have a keyless entry with these bad boys well not keyless entry you gotta press down but uh that's looking up it's looking real nice the side of it is looking real nice the side looks real good not spectacular but what makes it look good like i said is the hips the hippage nice back lights the back lights are pretty pretty nice they ain't nothing spectacular 
nothing spectacular. They nice, but they ain't nothing crazy. They actually look like cheap lights. If you, to be already honest with you, they look like cheap lights. But I do like that Bronco. I liked how they got the little Bronco on there. I, I do like that. And as you can see, the cut the top of this uh, Bronco is not gonna be color matched either. In order to get it color matched, you're gonna have to pay a little extra money. But it still look good. The little uh, ashy black top looks good to me. I think it look good. Let's work our way to the back. As you know, these do not come with dual exhaust. If you're gonna off-road, you really don't wanna have dual exhaust and you want the exhaust to be tucked in as further as you can get it tucked in. So nine times out of 10, you're not gonna see these with dual exhaust. But if you get the Raptor version, it's probably going to be dual exhaust and uh I take my hat off if you want to see what i look like and probably going to be dual exhaust so it just depends but i these are not going to have a uh, dual exhaust but they're going to come with those billing 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 steam uh shocks shocks uh shocks so that's going to look that's going to definitely make the ride a lot softer you got your tow hooks your uh, for your uh, towing if you're going to tow nice bumper bumper pretty plain if you ask me, I think the bumper is quite plain. They, the back bumper is really plain. I think they could have made it a little more cooler than that. Maybe a little more indentations on it. It really looks pretty plain if you ask me. But it is what it is, I guess. I, I guess when you're off-roading and stuff like that, when you get one of these, you ain't really getting it for the look of the, the bumper and all that. So here's when you open up the back. spring-loaded, as you can see. It's spring-loaded, which, which is real nice because my uh, Jeep is not spring-loaded. So that's nice. That's right off the gate, they beating the Jeep with that open it up you got plenty of space back here it's gonna be at least a five this is a five-seater vehicle you might be able to squeeze six people in it if somebody wants to ride in the back but well, this is really nice if you want to sit back here you can sit back here you know go uh just say you're going um tailgate or something you can sit in the back of this bad boy and uh watch the tailgate with your homeboys and your home girls as you can see if you lift this up right here bam that's where your jack is gonna be all the little accessories you need to take the doors off and everything like that is gonna be back here and uh there goes your 12 volt right there for when you hook it up hook your little 12 volt charger in there bam right there looking real good right there we're gonna go ahead and shut this bad boy and we're gonna work our way inside this bad boy because we don't want to take up all the time we don't want to be out here all day and as you can see it comes with a fifth wheel the fifth wheel is gonna match the west of the wheels so you ain't got to worry about having a regular plain old plain jane fifth wheel you get a flat tire you can place replace replace the flat tire with the same wheel and rim so you wouldn't have to worry about that and your camera's gonna be right here for those who want to know what the camera is this right here this brake light is adjustable so you can lift it up or down if you want to and we get to the back seat this is the back seat back seat action let's get back here and see if it's spacious ah it's not as spacious as i thought it would be it's all right it's not as spacious as i thought it would be but it don't, it's firm. The seats is real firm. I know you're like, these, what, these cloth? This is not cloth. I thought it was cloth too, too, too. And it's not leather either. It's not cloth and it's not leather. I don't know what kind of material this is. It's very, very nice. But it's a cold day today. And that thing, that, that this little stuff right here is cold to the touch. So be aware. If you're going to get one of these, that, that is cold to the touch. And if, if these seats are not heated back here, so you have to take a little while for your tush to warm up but there goes your power plugs right there another one right here for your chargers right there your power plug right there charger ports right there shut those up this is where you let your windows down right there for those who want to know yes sir and there goes your little folder holder not a lot of room but enough <laughs> and uh this is pretty much it back here i mean there's nothing really going on got nice little floor matches so you can open these i guess open these up and uh i don't know maybe drain water back here if you got some water back there i'm not really sure fully, fully sure because i'm not really a uh bronco guy i got a jeep i'm a jeep guy but i'm going ahead and tell you the truth this bronco is looking much better inside than my jeep by far it's not even close but uh you want to pop your doors off of these and these right here you would unplug that boom look hit that unplug that Hit that little bolt right there, bam right there, lift up, boom, voila, you got the doors off. Let's go to the front, where the magic happens, we're going to get on in here, yeah, sir. oh, it's comfortable up front now, I can admit it, the front looks good, <laughs> the front is comfortable, this is very comfortable, this, off the gate, I'm going to tell you the truth, I'm going to be all honest, it looks much better inside this bad boy, it's much better inside this bad boy than it is a Jeep. 
It's not even close. It's not even close. This is not the biggest one you can get. I believe you can get a bigger screen than this, but this is a nice size screen. If this is not the biggest screen, it's definitely a nice size screen. So I'm not going to sit there and complain. If it was my Jeep, I wouldn't be complaining. It's a nice infotainment, you know, system right there. As well as they're going, everything's going to be digital on the right side, but you get your miles per hour. That's not going to be digital. It's going to tell you what you go up to 120 miles an hour. I don't know why you would want to do 120 in a Bronco. I don't know, but if you do, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> really, really nice. The steering wheel is definitely, definitely nice. It's, it's, I'll say the steering wheel is about even with the Jeep. They probably about even. I would say equally nice. This one seems like it's got a little more technology on my, than uh, the Jeep, but I could be wrong. But it definitely looks good. Definitely feeling the little Bronco right there. There goes your shifter right there. Really, really nice. Really, 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 really nice, actually. Super nice. Got your little Bronco right there. Here goes your four-wheel drive modes all right there. Two high, four high, four, four, four low. This is where you control your windows at right there. It's going to be directly under your armrest. All this good stuff. There goes your um cup holders. There goes your, whoa, whoa, hold on. Your little hold on, little bar right there. That's going to show you all your climates right there. All your climate controls. There goes your volume and your radio tuner right there. Hit the button right there. Check for rear seat. Check rear seat for occupants. Close. Bam. Bam. Here you go. Hit that brake right there. Start it right on up. Sounds pretty good too. You know, it sounds pretty good for it to be a V6. It's gonna, it's gonna have a 2.7 EcoBoost V6. It's gonna have 330 horsepower, 415 torque. Very torquey vehicle. Uh, it's a nice little horsepower too. Because for those who don't know, if you got a Jeep. 285 is the horsepower. That's gonna be your horsepower, 285. This one's got 330 horsepower. You already got more horsepower, pretty much about the same amount of torque. So, if you ask me, it's kind of a, I, I, I'm a Jeep guy, but I would not be mad if somebody put up in a Bronco. I can see why people get these Broncos because it's much, a lot of competitions. There goes a few more little things right there. It's gonna be for when you're going off-road, you can uh, lock the fronts, lock the backs, uh, Turn your um, trash control off. It's nice, guys. Nice little mirror right here. You got your sunglass case right there for your sunglasses. Garage opener and all that stuff is all right there. Is it a garage opener on this bad boy? It does not have that. I don't think it has a garage opener on here. Sorry, guys. I don't think it comes with that. No, I don't have a garage opener. Sorry. So you just, unless it's somewhere over here. And then that goes where your light controls and everything is right there. So it's, I'm not seeing it. So maybe this does not come with a garage opener. I could be wrong. But as you know, I'm just, I, when I review cars, I see it. I just go review it. I really am. I'm just reviewing as a person that will be walking in off the street. So I'm not seeing a garage opener. So I'm guessing that it does not come with one. But I'm pretty sure if you get a higher model than this, it would come with a garage opener but i'm not seeing one so i'm gonna say it don't know I don't, i'm gonna go out on the limb and say it doesn't have one but uh it's definitely nice the seats are really nice in this bad boy but like i said if you don't got heated and cool seats on this bad boy but this one does but the rear does not have heated and cool seats and they're cold to the touch because it's a chilly day and these bad boys is freezing but uh i'm pop the hood not show you what it looks like under the hood and then we can call it a day and on your doors, you're going to get the regular little controls. You got your lock, the door locks, and that's it. That's all you get on the door. Door locks and your nice little metal handle. You're going to go slide on to the front of this bad boy. Shut it up. Bam. There goes your motor right there. There goes all the goodies that you wanted to see. That's that 2.7 liter EcoBoost motor. 330 horsepower, like I said. 415 torque. Very, very nice. Very torquey motor. And you got some decent horsepower for this being a little SUV. So yeah, it's definitely a nice vehicle if you ask me. Shut it. So what would I say? I would get the Bronco two thumbs up. Not really my type of vehicle, but as you say, y'all want me to do different reviews. Y'all don't just like me doing Mopars. Well, bam, I told y'all I started doing different reviews. Here we go with the first one gonna be a Bronco. Very nice vehicle. This is gonna be the Big Ben edition. As you can see, the Big Ben Sasquatch edition right here. As you can see, how much you want for this one? This particular vehicle will be 50. I believe it's $54,000. Let's make sure, team. Let's make sure. 
This vehicle is going to be 55, 55,000 bucks. It's going to run you. This one's going to run you. This going to run you $55,000. It's going to run you $55,000, but it's got a lot, a lot of things going on for it. It's a lot. It's pretty much fully loaded. The only thing I didn't see, it didn't have the big screen and I didn't see a garage opener. But other than that, it looks pretty nice. So for $55,000, I would say it's a good buy. Very nice vehicle. But shout out to Ziegler Ford in Elkhart, Indiana for allowing me to do this review. I will leave a link in the description for this particular vehicle and the salesperson that you can get in contact with if you want to get in contact with that person. But then again, here you go right here. Like I said, for $55,000, you can get the Big Ben Sasquatch Edition. This beautiful vehicle. And uh, with that being said, it's your boy, T Light. I'm gonna slide on up out of here. It's freezing out here. So if you see me not really super excited, it's cold out here. I still came out here to get a review for you. Damn. Hey,